Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. So today's video, we're going to discuss our tackles about different equations or problems involving mathematics. Remember, my dear students, when we see at mathematics, that involves sequence of numbers, sequence of problems that involves many solutions. Regarding through counting process, it helps us a lot on how to solve different problems. Through applying different skills, listening, motivating ourselves, and love of it, we can overcome it. But before we present to our topic, remember my dear students that our economy facing the different problems today. Say for example, from enhanced community quarantine down to modified enhanced community quarantine that is MECQ. Then we are now in GCQ, my dear students. That means to say general community quarantine is still having a virus. We should keep on that and inculcate our mind that we should take an extra what we call careful for ourselves. We don't want to spread virus. Instead, we want to kill that particular virus in order for us to stay normal. So today class, by using our mind, we can solve also different equations in mathematics. And welcome back again to Ram's Tutorial! Great day everyone! Welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. In this video guys, we're going to discuss about static division. When you see at static divisions, division is one of the four basic operations of arithmetic. Arithmetic means class is mathematics. It is the ways that tackles about numbers, combining of numbers to make new numbers. The other operations are addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Here in our topic about static division, I will teach you how to divide properly and quickly. Please watch till the end of our video tutorial, especially for the lower grades. Please watch our video. Here we go. Direction says we are going to draw the beads. Then you are going to divide it write the answer in the box that means to say you are going to write the answer inside the box in means inside so for example so we have an example 8 divide to 2 okay so we are going to group 8 we have 1 2 3 4 we have 8 Beads 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then we group it by 2. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so our answer now when you divide 8 divide 2, the answer is 4. By counting, we are going to group by 2s and count at how many 2s in 8. So we have 4. Okay, this is the quickest and the simplest way in division. Again, where I get 4, simple, I draw 8 beads, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and I group it by 2's. 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have here 4. I'm going to make it big number 4. That's 4. Let's start with number 1. We have 4 divide 2. So we're going to draw 4 beads. 1, 2, 3, 4. I group it by 2's. 1, 2, 1, 2. So we have 2 groups. 1, 2. So we have the answer is 4 divided by 2. The answer is 2 groups. So the answer is 2. Okay. Next, number 2. I'm going to write first with the tutorial. So you, my dear students, it's clear with you our answer here. Okay. Like that. Did you see it? 
that's how you're going to answer class okay first you are going to find first the divisor okay the co the dividend then the divisor dividend first four you draw first the dividend four and then you group it by two according to your divisor so this will be the quotient okay next number two so our dividend is 10 the divisor is 5 so we group we we are going to draw bids 10 bids 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we group it by 5 because 5 is our divisor 1 2 3 4 5 so this is 1 1 2 3 4 5 okay so you have to connect it and count how many 5 and 10 so we have 1 2 so we're going to write here our answer is Two. okay that's simple next my dear students 12 divide 3 so remember 12 is our dividend 3 is our divisor okay so we're going to draw first here we draw 12 okay we draw 12 bits let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. After that, checking our dividend 12, we are going to group it by 3, which is our divisor. 3 is what we call the divisor. So we group it 1, 2, 3. So this is 1, 1, 2, 3, another 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, another. So count it one two three four you are going to write here the quotient is four when you multiply class four and three the result is 12 that is division remember division take note my dear students that division is inverse of multiplication so saying goes like this that if you know how to multiply it's easier for you and you know how to divide it okay let's proceed to the next number i will show you nine divide three chair what is nine nine is our dividend so we're going to draw bids nine bids one two three four five six seven eight nine we group it by three one two three that's another one two three one two three count that one two three so therefore there are three groups and nine so therefore our quotient is three so three times three the answer is nine that is the vision process okay counting of beads drawing the beads charm can i draw different kinds of shape can i draw different kinds of object yes you are you can you can draw it you can do it you can draw different kinds of objects as well as you have to check the dividend and check of course the divisor so that your quotient will be correct okay major student it is clear for you we're going to check or proceed to number five question number five divisor is rather dividend six our divisor is two therefore six divided by two how many two and six so it's have counted one two three four five six group by two one two one two one two so count it one two three so we're going to write here three okay so therefore guys your quotient is three when you multiply it uh, three times two the answer is six that is division process division is inverse with multiplication method next our dividend is 15 our divisor is 5 we draw 15 bids 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 check then we group it by 5 1 2 3 4 5 that's 1 1 2 3 4 5 you have to count it by 5 graph it by 5 class 1 2 3 4 5 this is a manual method my dear students because our purpose is to inculcate to your minds remember my dear viewers or students especially lower grades so that it's easy for you this is what you call the basic steps in division process so we have 
three one two three so we're going to write here inside the box the quotient three okay 15 divided by 5 the answer is 3 okay 3 times 5 that is inverse the answer is 15 okay next number 7 16 divide 4 okay we drew 16 bits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 we graph it by 4 1 2 3 4 one two three four we put the check mark one two three four down one two three four after putting a check mark count it again one two three four we're going to write four our quotient four times four the answer is 16 or right, 16 divide four the answer is four is the quotient that is division method my dear students next number eight 16 divide two same number but our dividend or divisor rather same dividend but divisor is different two same process one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen group it by two one two count it one two count it one two mark it one two one two one two one two one two count how many marks? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We are going to write here 8. Therefore, when you multiply, the answer is 16. 16 divided by 2, the answer is 8. 8 times 2, the answer is 16. Okay? It's clear? We are not just done. We are going to proceed to the next number, which is number 9. Dividend is 20. Our divisor is 5. Draw 20 bits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 20. Divide it by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1 mark. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Count how many marks? 1, 2, 3, 4. It's simple. You're going to write our quotient is... Four. Okay, when you multiply, the product is 20. When you divide 20, divide 5, the quotient is 4. Okay? To make clear with you, my dear students, 20 is R, what we call the dividend. Okay, dividend, to make it clear. Okay, the part of division 5 is our divisor. This is part of division 4 is our quotient okay that's it my dear students have dividend divisor and quotient okay so let's see it we have the parts of division okay one more okay we have 14 divide 2 so you know already what is 14 14 is the dividend, 2 is the divisor, and quotient is, we have no quotient, so we're going to st start now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay, it's correct, we are going to group it by 2, 1, 2, so one mark, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, one two okay count the mark one two three four five six seven okay so that it will not confusing us so the quotient now is seven so when you multiply the answer is 14 when you divide 14 divide 2 the answer is seven if you have any questions or suggestions regarding this topic what you call static division single digit number so with what we call the help of objects the drawing the different kinds of bits hope my dear students don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're updated in our latest video tutorial 
Okay, don't forget to subscribe and comments again. Don't hesitate to write any suggestions or comments to our comment suggestion box. Our topic today is static division. Hope this video tutorial will help you a lot regarding your when you're studying this type of lesson. Okay, answering the what you call different exercises regarding static division when you said static division we state different equations regarding division on how to divide it and how to count different types of objects because our goal here is we are going to draw the beads then divide it count it properly and then you can come up the right quotient or the right answers with this again don't forget to hit the bell so that you're updated to our latest video tutorial to Ram's educational channel. See you again and hope my dear viewers or students to really understand our topic. Bye-bye and see you on my next video. So long class and God blessed and mabuhay.